as hot as loud as you can. You could just say, Charlotte, can you please put the camera down? Um, <laughs> we are on our way for a very exciting day. Aren't we? Yep. You're excited? Yeah, go on. I can't wait. It is. Is it your first time at the NEC? No, it's a body power. Oh, yeah, of course. Have you? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but it is both our first times at this particular show. We are going to the NEC in Birmingham for our very first camping and caravan show. Whoop, whoop. Does that mean we're getting old? Yeah. I remember going no, to the camping. I would camp say I reckon well, there would be our age. Yeah, I think it's become a younger person's thing more recently. But I remember going to the camping and caravan show being dragged around when I was a kid by my parents. Um, but now I am going of my own accord and we are actually meeting my parents there because... So they're going to drag you around. <laughs> so yeah, they're still going to drag me around, but more willingly, I think, now. Um, but yeah, we're really excited and we're meeting my parents because my parents are avid campers and have been my whole life which is where me and Carl got the idea from um, for becoming van owners ourselves and we've obviously had our first night away in the van now so we have we're definitely not experts by no means but we have learned a few things that we think would be useful for our van so the NEC is gonna have so many exhibitors there stands to look around other vans to look around and just get ideas and little things Carl has a list going on his phone um, so we thought we would take you along with us for our first time well it's not my first time technically I did go when I was a kid but my first time as an, no my first time as an adult actually wanting to get something from it um, so we thought we'd take you along with us show you what's there and also if we do pick anything up then I'll show you at the end of the video what we do get for, for our van. Yeah. We've got a long list anyway. So. Have we? A lot of them are wants or rather than needs. Yeah. So we'll see what we need. Yeah but it'll be a really nice day out with my mum and dad as well and um, I'm excited to see see what's there. We just got back from the NEC yesterday and to be honest we were absolutely knackered. Carl worked nights on Thursday night and then obviously got up early to go to the NEC but we had a really good day with my mum and dad having a look round the caravan, camping and motorhome show there um, and we thought we would show you a few bits that we picked up. We didn't buy that much because if you followed my channel um, for a little while you'll know that we're getting married in just over a month so obviously a lot of our money well all of our money is going on that at the moment but we did have a bit of a well Carl's got a bit of a list going on your phone haven't you yeah. he's sat behind the camera he's in the front of the van at the moment we're sat in the van right now because we just left the stuff in the van yesterday um that we bought um, but Carl's got a bit of a list going on his phone of like want and need for the van so we needed a few things um, and we didn't get all of them but we got a couple first things first we picked up this anti-slip mat stuff I remember from being a kid going camping with my mum and dad in their motorhome 
that we always had this stuff on the side boards um because it does what it says it's anti-slip so you can put things you put it on the work surface and then put things on it um we used to have a fruit bowl in one of our vans at the back of the van but because it was on this stuff it didn't slip um or slide anywhere so we got some of this um we don't have many surfaces in this van um probably the main one is here next to me but also in our cupboards we're gonna where we keep our mugs and stuff up here we're gonna cut this because you can just cut this with scissors as it even shows in the picture there yeah you can cut it with scissors to fit where you want so we've got some um little uh what do you call these storage containers storage containers <laughs> nothing technical <laughs> the technical term for them storage containers it's just got random bits in it's got rice and tea bags in this one but they slide as we're driving you can hear me doing that there so we're going to pop that in the cupboards as well um as well as probably put a bit on the top here carl's nodding at me like yes yes that's what we're going to do that's what Carl's gonna do. <laughs> so that's the first thing we got. That was only one pound fifty. We only got one roll because, like I said, we don't have loads of surfaces, and it was cheap as chips. Um, next thing we have got, which I'm not entirely, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what this is. Carl picked this up, it? and it is a cable reel. Eleven ninety nine. This cost us, and this is to wind a cable round. I don't know what cable is going to be wound round this. And the mains one from the when you get to your pitch. So it just For the goes, electricity. So it all goes around that just to keep it neat and. There you go. It's just to keep it neat and tidy. It's after it as well. So we spent twelve quid on this. Anywho, next thing that we got which I definitely know what it is and we haven't tried it out yet which we're really excited to do and actually this is the very first thing that we bought and it's for Arnie our little cocker spaniel and we've been talking about even if we didn't have a van we'd want something like this but I feel like the van has probably prompted it the purchase um it's basically I did pick up a card for the company as well um it's a drying bag basically and we got this there were a couple of dog stands that were selling these but one was more expensive than the other so we went for the cheaper one this cost us 40 same pounds though, it? so felt pretty much same product the material felt the same do the same things but this one was like 20 quid cheaper than the other one wasn't it um so we got this one from poor door of london that's their card that we picked up is that the company we bought it from? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the bag, big bag that we've got. Poor Door of London is where we got it. £40 for the medium one. I think they were £5 difference. If you've got a large, it'd be 45 If you've got a small, 35 Um, And we got it in this grey colour, which was really nice. Oh, I didn't realise it had a little... Is that yeah. a little heart? No, it's the PD. Like the oh, PD. it looks like a heart in the viewfinder there. Oh, yeah. Their, their branding. Um, And it is... What it says, it's a bag, you can unzip it, and this bit goes around his neck, and I then think, yeah, you just... I think you're late flat, get him to stand on it. Oh, uh, we'll try it out. Should we go get him? So we're just demonstrating the uh, drying towel with this crazy pooch. Arnie. Okay. No, you don't chew so it. So Carl's chewing. unzipped it all. Demo being done with the most hyper dog ever. <laughs> Which hopefully after a muddy walk, he wouldn't be so hyper. No, it's fine. Come here. Get him to sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. So tie it around his neck. It's got like a Velcro fastening. Look at his little face. And then zip him in. Look how snug you look. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Oh, yes. Give us a lick if you like your new dry towel. Arnie, do you like it? Good boy. <laughs> That's a yes. Where have you in it? And I think the material is a certain material that basically if he's 
that dries him out and then this doesn't take ages to dry either when i first felt it i said it kind of feels similar to like a chamois leather you know when you it's not leather but it feels similar to that slightly softer but it's that kind of thing it's quick drying and it, it the lady said it like pulls yeah. kind of gets the sand and yeah. dirt and it all drops off basically in this and you can just shake this out uh, machine washable and all that good stuff but that is the biggest purchase i think that we bought of the day and we can use this obviously in the van um but we can also use it if we just take him for a walk at home and we want to bath him or it's a rainy day and we let him out in the garden then we can put him in this and the good thing is because it's literally he's like it's literally wrapped up in a towel he can't walk anywhere in it so um which is ideal in the van he can just be cozy in his nice little towel and then the other main thing um that we got of the day um i haven't really got anything physical to show you but my mum and dad kindly bought us a year's membership to the caravan club caravan and motorhome club they are members they're members of both aren't they yeah. the camping and caravan club and the caravan and motorhome club and from their experience they said that the caravan and motorhome club was probably the best one didn't they mm -hmm. i can't remember why do you remember why they no, said it was the reason. best one? I'm sure if my dad's watching this, which he probably will because he likes the whole van videos, um, he'll leave a comment in the, in the, in the, not in the description in the box, in the comments. <laughs> he'll leave a comment in the comments, believe it or not. God, struggling, Been a long to, day. struggling today. I had a good sleep as well. Um, as to why the Caravan and Motorhome Club, as to why he thinks the Caravan and Motorhome Club is the best. He has told me, but I can't remember. Um, so all we've got here is a book that we got from them and it has like a magazine that we got from them which has all the all the caravan clubs in the UK and in Europe as well. So we can plan our trips with it this. Seems, which one of many there are if you get the map up. It's loads, isn't there? Yeah. So this is Spain and Portugal. And then that is the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Germany, Denmark, Switzerland, Italy. There's loads. And that's... Where's the UK? <laughs> I think that was just for uh, European travel. Is that just European? And then this one's the UK. Possibly. Oh, no, that's European as well. There's loads. <laughs> there's loads. I can't find it right now, but there's loads. But yeah, so my mum and dad treated us to a year's membership with the Caravan Club, which was really, really nice of them. So thanks, mum and dad. Um... And that's the only other thing that we bought. But I would show, I'm gonna show you as well a few brochures that we picked up for once we've paid for the wedding and everything and we can start doing a few more bits with the van. Um, we picked up some brochures of things that we liked. Carl picked up this one, which is from Select Auto Mats. You really liked this, they, didn't you? They were quite reasonably priced as well. They weren't expensive. For, for um, a custom one for the front in here, 25 yeah. pound. Yeah, so we don't have any, like, we don't have any mats in the front of the van or anywhere else. Um, but these custom make mats to fit where you want. Um, so we took this brochure um, from them for future reference so we can get some nice mats in the car just to make it a little bit nicer and, um, yeah, finish it off nicely. Um, and then the other one, which we saw just as we were finishing, which is my personal favourite. Mine Carl well. thinks about, is it yours too? Yeah, definitely. Um, Carl thinks about practical things like mats and, you know. Con water containers. Oh yeah, water containers and things like that. Whereas this is the kind of thing that catches my eye. And it was this company called Camping Cinema. And I picked up their brochure and they basically do portable cinema packages. And I I took a little video on my, maybe I'll put the video that I took on my phone in, in here now. Um, but we sat in, they had all different setups. So you can have it in your garden, um, you can have it in like your living room, in your bedroom, wherever in your house. But you can also have it when you're camping. And they had a VW camper van like ours and they had it set up. So I'm sat here at the back now and they had, we've got a pop top roof like you will have seen. 
and they basically had the roof popped up and then the cinema was like right there so you could sit back here and look up there it, how good it was, was it good. i'll insert the video so you can see if you took dvds away if you took 20 dvds somebody broke in the car and nicked them it's a class for oh, operation yeah. um and that's gone on our want list for the mm. man um but that was really good so yeah definitely recommend going and we obviously had a look around a lot of camper vans my mum and dad have got a caravan now um so we had a look in a few caravans we looked in some vw vans we looked in the um i can't remember the name of them but the other motor homes that you can get which is similar to like what my mum and dad used to have um we looked in lots didn't we and there were some really really nice ones and even just lifestyle and wellness stuff was there. They had everything. The one thing that we did need that we didn't get there though, which we'll just have to order on the internet, is it like a collapsible water container um, and some sort of contraption, a funnel. a funnel to obviously fill the van up with water. They did have a few options there, but nothing. They were quite... They were too fancy. They were quite fancy and we were like, no, we just need a basic container that collapses down they had a very fancy one there you know and we don't need that it, yeah with a tap and all sorts on it which we don't need and they had like a extendable tube thing there but carl thinks he can pretty make his own so uh, we're gonna go more basic than what they had there <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed this little video of the nec trip and find out what we got from the nec thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and of course if you are new here and you're here for the van videos there will be more coming like i said our next trip is going to be in april once we're a married couple so hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and we will see you in our next video bye